What up, y'all? It's T-Biz here, and uh, got this Masters of the Universe Revelation fake or or faker, whatever you want to call him. This thing's an awesomely big box, bigger than I think maybe even Skelegod. I haven't seen this in stores yet. I think uh, Brother Mike Prezado has seen him in the round. I haven't. I never do, because a lot of this stuff just goes like that locally. But what I did was just fish on the Target app, because I have it on my phone, just like it, or just, you have the little button where you can click to let it know when it's gonna ship again or when it's gonna be available for shipping. Some stuff you can do that, some stuff you can't. Um, you can also always look up the DCPI number if you can find it online. And um, I just fished and fished and fished. It was really hard to get. And then finally one day it just, it clicked, it worked, and I, I was able to get one. Uh, only like 20 bucks, I believe. I didn't even have to, it's funny because me and Overlord, or, uh, Overlord Productions are always going back and forth at each other on uh, who, you know, me paying more for overpaying for stuff. And um, I didn't have to overpay for this and he paid more for his than I had, <laughs> than I paid for mine. So that's awesome. It really worked out. But here's a look at the back of the package. It's awesome. He's kind of bluish like a uh, regular old school faker. And I guess some people are up in arms um, about this cartoon and about maybe the, 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 look of this faker compared to um your vintage uh your vintage one but i think it's cool because it's more of an homage to the filmation faker he-man which just looked like regular he-man you know with some glowy eyes or whatever but uh I, I like this i think it's cool i think it's a cool homage to something that i didn't like as a kid that i can appreciate more now i'm just more open-minded as an adult and it's kind of weird because now you have adults that are kind of narrow-minded about things <laughs> But, yeah, it's just weird. It's weird, man. It's really weird. Uh, love it or hate it, Motu's back. And I like the fact that it's back. And I like the fact that you have different multiverses. You have, you know, Origins. You have the new He-Man and the Masters of the Universe cartoon, which I think is cool. Everybody's like, oh, it's a little, little key cartoon. I get it, but I don't really feel that way about it. I'm 45 years old, and I actually dig that cartoon a lot. I think it was pretty cool. I like it. It's it's, it's just enjoy it as a multiverse. Don't, you don't have to... <sighs> nothing ever has to be the same I, that's that's the one thing i don't get is everybody wants everything to be the same all the time cookie cutter it's got to be the same 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 just allow some variety and some imagination in your life every once in a while man anyways um but i respect the fact that people don't want to watch it don't want to don't watch it then or don't even watch this review or just whatever but like at the same time i don't know it's, it's just annoying who cares anyways uh faker evil robot of skeletor uh, that's cool. I like this, man. There's a, he's like, yeah, I must be in a uh, gray skull. Looks like you can see that banner from the castle on the back of it. Uh, of all the deadly minions of Skeletor's at Skeletor's disposal, Faker's mastery of deception and destruction makes him among the most dangerous. The cybernetic doppelganger of He-Man takes on the appearance of Eternia's most powerful protector, fooling many heroes, including the sorceress of Gray Skull herself. By the uh, by, the time the heroes discover Faker's true nature, it may be too late. That's awesome. Yeah, that was in the cartoon, so we remember that. That's cool. Look at the side of the box, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this guy open and check him out. And here he is, folks. Comes with so much rad stuff, man. You got extra heads, which is cool. Almost reminds me of like Colossus or something. It's really cool, like a Terminator. That is rad, man. I like this. That's really cool. Super sweet. And you got a regular undamaged He-Man head with different hair, I believe, compared to the regular He-Man. I'll have to compare them in a moment. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. It's got some wash in the hair, like nice gray wash in there, or black wash, whatever you want to call it. That is cool. And you got the orange Skeletor armor, much like the... Let me grab them over here. Much like the old Faker, so that's pretty cool. That is really rad. Nice throwback to that. Callback, whatever you want to call it. And um, here's a sword. A little orange in there, so that's cool too. That works, man. That works for me. That that uh hits all the buttons for me. There's a good shield. I love these shields. I like the shield a lot. And uh, here's Faker himself, or Fake Or, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> that's kind of an inside joke. But um, yeah, I love the way they did this. That's cool. I like the paint. I like the fact that his skin looks like it's burnt off. And I think Overlord was telling me you can take the gauntlet off if you, yeah, if you pop his wrist off, his gauntlet uh, brace thing can come off, shield thing can come off. So that's cool. But I love the paint apps. This is rad, man. This is a cool figure. Really, really rad. 
That is cool, man. And we have to look and like, I guess you yeah, have compare them to He-Man because I want to see the difference in the hair and stuff. Oh, there's a way bit of a difference. Okay, yeah. That's cool. You can totally tell. It's more of a yellow. This is more like, um, I don't know, like a just different yellow, like a banana yellow and maybe a, I don't know what kind of, this is more of a vanilla yellow. I don't know. More of a yellow with white in it, but yeah. More of a brown wash versus gray wash. But anyways, you could go on like about crap like that forever. Once again, let's see, get in this. Cause you gotta mess with these legs sometimes, which I've learned cause uh, helpful viewers like yourself have tuned in and let me know, you know, different techniques to fix these things. Cause sometimes I just, you know, don't always have a lot of time to mess with my figures. But it seems like, yeah, this is cool. The diaphragm piece doesn't seem as weird on him as it has on some of the other figures. But yeah, this is cool, man. Let's go ahead and uh, get him set up with his other armor and uh, yeah, just check him out just a little bit more. Here he is with this full on Terminator head with the Skeletor armor, with the orange Skeletor armor. This is the thing I love about these figures. You can actually pose them pretty well, like get them pretty dynamic pose with them. That's pretty rad. Love the fact that too, that they come with extra hands. So that's very uh, Marvel Legends-y, mezco -y type of stuff going on there. So that's really rad. And yeah, once again, you get all these accessories. So that's really cool. And we might as well uh, just maybe uh, pop another He-Man head on him just for, uh, for craps and giggles. And here you have him, folks, He-Man versus He-Man. Really, really cool, dude. And I love the fact that his uh, Faker's hair looks a little windswept. That's awesome. Just really makes for a really dynamic figure. Even if you just have him pose like this, just looks really, really cool, man. Even the, yeah, you can even tell, like, there's a difference in their belts and stuff. This is a little bit more shinier metallic-looking plastic versus uh, this, like, kind of flatter, fartier yellow on, on He-Man's belt. Just really cool stuff, man. Really rad. I'm glad I finally got to check this figure out because I've been so busy with work lately. I haven't had time to do much. And, and you know, old, you know, regular T-Biz fashion, I would have already, you would have seen the review for this like days ago. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm burnt out and I haven't had a lot of time. But I'm glad I checked this out tonight because he's, he's awesome, dude. Really love this figure. Really love having this head sculpt with the orange armor and stuff. And just, uh, it's really cool because you never got a shield with the old figure. So that's cool, and it just, it's cool, man. It's like I said, it's an homage to the Filmation stuff, and it's kind of new in its own way, and it looks really rad, man. It's like, it reminds me of, um, if you've ever played that video game, Symphony of the Night, well, or uh, Castlevania, where Alucard has to fight himself. It it's, totally reminds me of that. It's cool. It's cool, man. Anyways, thanks for watching, y'all. Let's look at the Masterverse, Masters of the Universe Revelation Faker. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I hope, but I'm not sure if the issue two or three is it issue three that needs to be out or four i can't remember of uh, the revelation comic hopefully i'll figure that out soon enough and uh we'll check that out soon i don't even know if it's out and you can look at my comics and see anyways thank for thank you for watching y'all and uh, more videos coming up soon all right later